The Zimbabwe International Film and Festival Trust has embarked on a Narratives from Zimbabwe project to document and store in a digital archive our history and heritage presented via an interactive website. The project is being implemented over an 18-month period until June 2020 and will cover the country's 10 provinces and over 20 ethnic groups. A vast amount of Zimbabwe's narrative wealth resides in our elderly citizens and if professionally captured and stored, would provide an invaluable resource for the creative and cultural industries in general, and also for students and the youth. We have a strong oral history culture that includes family and clan histories, to traditions, myths, legends, wars, etc. Unfortunately, until now, this has not been recorded and consequently much valuable information and knowledge is lost daily. Something has needed to be done for a long time, and finally, Zift has taken the initiative. The archive will offer a broad range of formats to educate and entertain both young and old, and provide knowledge from general interest to academic research that includes the following. Text of interview transcriptions and academic research papers, narration, illustrations, animation, film reenactments, games, and video. Narratives from Zimbabwe is founded on an ethnographic approach to documenting Bantu migrations, empires, kingdoms, dynasties, and both tangible and intangible heritage, all done using a combination of desk research, interviews, and on-location filming. The project is designed to achieve the following objectives capture the narratives as voice and video recordings, to give Zimbabweans an elevated sense of identity achieved by knowing ourselves better as a people, to create ethnic harmony as Zimbabweans of diverse cultures and begin to understand each other better, to develop a resource that creative practitioners can draw from to produce new cultural artifacts for both local and international consumption, to encourage the youth to take more interest in learning their culture and to provide an academic resource. The project's emphasis is on working through the following key target groups. Chiefs, spiritual leaders, government institutions, community elders, academics. With this knowledge, Zimbabwe will be able to do more and achieve much more.